new UFO interview just got released with Nick Pope. Just came out two days ago on April 5th, 2022. And this was on News Nation out of Chicago. The show is called On Balance with Leland Vittert, who interviews Nick Pope from Tucson, Arizona. And it's actually thanks to my friend Rod from Tucson, Arizona, that you're getting this little piece of information. So thank you very much, Rod. Um, Nick Pope is of interest to us, not because he's from Tucson, but actually because originally he was from the UK, where he used to work for the British Ministry of Defense's head of the UFO project there. And so, uh, so he's now a reporter and uh, he's living in Tucson. And uh, in the report the other day, he says that we are closer than ever at discovering what those UAPs and UFOs are. And that's very, very exciting because, uh, because there's more fighter jet footage that you'll get to see on that little clip. And I'll, I'm gonna leave that uh, link in the comments below so you'll actually get to uh, check out some of the video footage that I'm going to direct you to on this video. Um, I believe that I saw from the side what they are going to show you from above. So uh, by the way, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and uh, push that little notification bell by the subscribe button so I can continue to make videos like this just for you. These are my real life stories of the impossible and I'm Alan New, the man who knows. And we are talking about my experience back in 2014 while on the Norwegian getaway cruise ship. I was on the top deck looking port side out into the ocean when suddenly I saw a bright white light sail across from one horizon all the way across to the other and I got to see the full length of its flight. So uh, as opposed to other people who dismissed it as a meteor later on, I never saw it go into the water and I confirmed this with several people around us when this all took place. Um, I also never felt any heat come off of it so I felt, felt that that was kind of interesting that the fighter pilot interview one of the fighter pilot interviews I saw actually claimed that there was no heat coming off of it. And then finally, um, uh, there was a tail that seemed to come off of it. There was it sort, sort of looked like a comet in a way. Um, there was, it seemed to change color. It kind of went from green to yellow to red as it flew by us. And so there was a kind of almost a hazy changing colors of it as it did fly by. Um, I took note of all of these things with other people around me as this happened. And we also confirmed that it never went into the water. So even though it was dismissed as a UFO, as a, excuse me, as a meteor, there was a definite UFO element behind it. It was definitely an unidentified flying object. And it was true, true to several hundred people who actually saw it, but everybody wanted to dance and party the night away. Who's going to stop us from our Caribbean vacation? So that being said, I think that uh, all of that is very, very interesting. We should all take note of it. Once those fighter pilots have cameras mounted on them that can take high res photos, I think we will be closer than ever, as Nick Pope says. But until then, we still have lots of questions to answer about all of this. And um, what more can I say other than at uh, one minute and eight seconds of the video, you'll actually see that there's a graphic map of the United States and it does confirm at that point, it actually does say, Eastern seaboard near Florida coast 2014 to 2015 as part of the Pentagon's released confirmed sightings of UFOs during that time. And that's exactly when I was there. So what can I say other than um, comment below if you've ever been on a Caribbean cruise ship and seen something similar or go to my website at themanwhoknows.tv and learn more about my entertainments that I can offer to all of you.